Hi guys, I'm Matthew. And I'm Daniel. And this is the Playroom Studio. I'm a guitar teacher. I'm a vocal coach. And you can find out about online lessons with us, taking guitar lessons, singing lessons, by going to the website, ask us any questions, we'll be happy to get back to you. So you know how Coke has a studio? Well, Miss Cafe has a basement and they're coming at you fast, baby. They're coming hard. And you've got to watch out because because Pepsi Mac has a conservatory coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew have got a lean to that they're going to be putting a few gigs on inside. Okay. So the video is Borhu and Soch the band featuring Hadita Hashmi. Hadia. Hadia Hashmi. Uh, Nescafe Basement Season 5, 2019. The time is, and um, I believe that she's eight years old, um, Hadima Hashmi. What? In that little um, comment, so we we are doing this as a suggestion from one of our subscribers, and they told us to, to watch this performance, and I believe that the singer that's included in this no is an eight-year-old girl. Didn't, I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Let's get into it. the subtitles on for this one I think so we, we should know what they're singing about the footage is so crisp oh, paint yourself a colour of the poetry thus far that's oh, very strong imagery it's so nice to have subtitles That he's using. His mm. voice is really, really lovely. He has the like the quaff yeah. of life with just this one very purposeful. Superman yeah, exactly. Um, so good. I, I love it so far. The song. So far, I'm really impressed with the quality of the production on this. is is crazy. The footage is a little bit more sweeping and. Um, I'd say better shot than some of the Coke studio videos, which doesn't mean the performance is necessarily better. Yeah. Uh, just and the crispness of the of what the, the instrument sound is coming through. And so far, it's a song about self care, thus far, like from what I can see, about going within and finding happiness within. So. Wow. So very good. drums are uh, so, uh, uh, uh. so visceral, ba -bom. And then did you hear that little sound <laughs> of the violin? <laughs> Just one, like, <laughs> Like a motivational piece, isn't it? This this song in a way. It's like can you hear the rain? Yes, do your role, play your thing. Great percussive sound it's added. Even the summer hot and dry wind feels. Frost 
prostrating in the way that when you lie prostrate on the bed and you kind of like in that sort of like victim yeah. position almost, isn't it? I love that little tagline and ball or something rat like there's yeah. more detail in there. And just say God, just say ooh, just say like are you just leaving something up to God or you know seems like it, yeah. Drawing strength from it. A lot of, that seems to be a theme with a, a lot of the music we listen to. I don't you know, let us know in uh, Indian and pa Pakistani music. Is the mainstream uh, is mainstream music very religious based as well? Um, is that is that the theme of many many? I think uh, in a lot of songs? cases, some of the Indian songs that we've watched have been more about romance. Yeah, I suppose. Um, and then the, obviously there's different there's different, but I think particularly the Pakistani songs. Yeah, I think it seems because I've noticed that in in these songs more so than you would necessarily in in uh, contemporary. contemporary songs in in our country, the, the UK. Do you care? It would have been Britain. Oh, the range. Love that. Love that for you. When we get in Hadia. For a guitar, it sounds almost more like banjo ish. Vocalization. All those complex. Um, she seems to be looking to the guy next to her with the harmonizer. Is that the harmonizer? The harmonium. Harmonium. Sorry. And he, was he directing her with his hand? That was great. And there, there was this sort of locked position that uh, that she was singing in. Uh, almost a downturn. Very mouth. focused. Very focused, wasn't she? Yeah. And that's adding a lot, a lot of atmosphere to the mm. song. Kind of this. Ooh, Cindy, Cindy, what's happening? Yeah. We were. You see how silent we went. So not just in, but with the vibrato, you know, right in that place, mm. she opened up, and it had this really obviously she's a young a young girl. It just has this very very bright young yeah, tone yeah. to it that adds this kind of element that can be a little bit kind of like, oh, what's happening here? This is a bit eerie. Yeah. A bit. There's a lot of purity to to the the kind of singing. So it's very pure vocal, isn't it? And there's not a lot of like it, like here again. It, 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 it was a bit in Britain. A lot of focus on tone and the sort of inflection you put on on the singing. Absolutely. It's all very much like the getting the note and the range, the vocal yeah. range of people. Yeah, and a lot of comments about um, not it. using your falsetto, not using the. <laughs> you have to go up in your chest in um, Western music. That isn't really something that mm. that that's the case. Oh. 
heartbroken and in pain. It's too intense. The, there's, something, there's an intensity a child can bring to things. Find the wall within. Oh yes. Prove the hate is wrong, baby. Stun everyone around you. So it's changed. What she's doing is, is now very like concise. The significance of the lyrics are still very very heavy. There's a lot mm. of um, meaning in this song, isn't there? That, yeah. they're, that they're trying to get across. Make a small world within yourself. Be a wanderer of in spiritual ecstasy. So basically, create a place within yourself which is um, somewhere where you feel safe. And that's something that's a, that's something I've heard in a lot of different people that like to, you know, or that people that give advice to people about being happy and stuff like that. That it's quite interesting that that this is the theme of this song in particular. Create your own, create your own sanctity in, in your head. she was doing just then as well. It added such a nice different kind of element to this Madness. song. Yeah, really, really ama amazing. So good, so good. <laughs> amazing, so talented, isn't she? Well, I'm really, really glad that we got suggested that video and it's definitely something different that we haven't quite seen the introduction of a younger singer in a style which is so, um, you know, lauded and rightfully so as being very hard and yeah. taking a lot of skill showing you that even someone at her age has already acquired so many of the skills that it takes to um, sing these notes and these different scales yeah, amazing. and just add to a song like this. Brilliant. Formidable. Alright, thank you for watching this video guys. If you're interested in us watching anything else similar to this or if you've got anything else other than this you'd like us to watch then just comment down below and uh, we will see you later. Yeah, thank you.